Hi, this is T.H. Colhane for Solar City Solutions, and we're here in Niteroi, which is in Brazil, in the Rio de Janeiro area, and we're having a wonderful time with Julio from Insincorator out in Sao Paulo, who's come Hi. down today, bringing this Insincorator as a gift to both the uh, Architecture for Humanity Niteroi um, uh, project, and uh, we're here with Luis Felipe from Architecture Architecture for Humanity, who's the chief architect on the project, also. and photographer tonight, and with Flavio, who is the owner and visionary behind the creche, behind this wonderful daycare center that we're in now, and the school, the elementary school that is being built, and we're happy to be able to contribute a food waste and toilet waste to clean energy and fertilizer solution through biogas. Uh, the insincorator right now is uh, hooked up with a simple bucket. Uh, and it'll be used with this digester here that we've just finished making. This is a 310 liter tank with a 250 liter gas holder and uh, it's to be demonstrating to the students and to the community biogas before we come back to build the big Pusheen cement systems of 10 cubic meters. And we're going to give it a little bit of food right now. The insincorator here has an air switch, which means that you don't have to worry about splashing water when you're pouring it and getting electrocuted. In fact, if I blow on it, it turns on, and if I blow on it, it turns off. This button presses air into it, and so it's just like, as Julio explained, it's just like in a jacuzzi. You press the button, it turns on. You press the button, it turns off. But it's air that does it. So there's no worry about electrocution. Okay. We're going to take this old popcorn and we're going to put this in with a little bit of water. I'll press the button and turn it on. And as you can see, you can actually put your hand slightly down in. It's not blade. In fact, I'm going to remove the um, buffer. Just so you can see how it works. It throws it to the side, which is where the grinding goes on. And that's why it's so okay that you can put your hand down this far. Of course, when you put in the rubber, it makes the sound go away. So it's good to have that and keep splashing. But we'll put in tomatoes. And the water helps it to get thrown. Would you like to do the honors? Right. Stick a hand. Pode ser a mão, sem problema. Yeah. And you can put the other one. and then it gets very clean and then you look down there you can see where it's coming out and down here you see that the popcorn has been ground up into a fine slurry mash the tomatoes into a fine sort of puree and there's the oranges from before so this is small enough now that it, as it came through a 40 millimeter pipe it can go into the 50 millimeter pipe of the biodigester now, because the biodigester was just started today, we just put the horse manure in, it's not ready for feeding yet. You usually wait three weeks, four weeks, until it is fermenting and producing gas before you give some food. We can, however, introduce a little bit of food waste without making it go acid, just to give it a little kickstart and to demonstrate the system. So I'm going to take this over and actually give this to Flavio, um, because he'll be doing this. Oops. But Flavio, let's just pour in a tiny amount, maybe this much and no Some more. Uh, and then the rest of it can be put in the garden because it's been ground up. And we'll need a bucket for there for down here as well. So let me get this. Because every time that you add it, there's going to be slurry coming out. So this would be the daily feeding regime. You'd grind up with the insincorator and then you would pour a little bit in and let's put a little bit more in. Você pode mais mais um pouquinho. And you get this fertilizer out. So it's food in, fertilizer out, and 
we can adjust this just a little bit. So, okay. But it's usually the same amount. You want to have it adjusted so it's the same amount going in as comes out every day. Sempre mais ou menos o que você botar vai sair. Mm -hmm. No futuro you know você vai sempre botar right? meio, meio balde desse. Yeah. Nunca botar mais que meio balde. That's right. The, the most amount when it's actually working you'll put in is about this much of this bucket or about about three quarters of this bucket. Yeah, three quarters do 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 balde você pode utilizar. But that's about all we should feed it now. It's not really ready for this, so stop ah, now. Yeah. And, that, and, uh, and you can always put manure in. So that's that's the procedure. So thanks a lot for watching. If you're doing this at home, remember that you are professionals. Please do try this. At home. <laughs>